What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. If this is your first time to the channel, how is it going? And if you've been here before, welcome back as always. I just want to take a quick moment, check out that sky. It is absolutely beautiful, but you know what they say about red sky in the morning? They say sailors take warning. So it's a red sky in the morning. The wind's supposed to pick up a little bit. But I'm sitting next to a pretty big gas platform right now, just tying up all my stuff. And we're just gonna have a great, fun, fall bay fishing day all right well i'm gonna leave this one to outrun some rain i'm gonna head north so it is time to go got some good swells going on today okay just got to a rig that i want to fish now i know we're going to get rained on i think it's inevitable today so it is what it is but let's get the trolling motor anchored up let's get a little closer oh my goodness look at that sky you just got to take a moment and take in that beauty of a sunrise this morning thank you lord for putting it there and allowing us to wake up another day i have plenty of live shrimp i'm gonna drop down i'm gonna start out bottom fishing but i'm using a simple carolina rig today this is a size two owner mewtwo light circle hook 20 pound Yosuri fluorocarbon, small barrel swivel, and I'm using a one ounce egg sinker because there is a lot of tide. And I'm throwing this setup on a Shimano Ultegra 3000 20 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2 braid, and then a St. Croix Avid Inshore rod. I'm gonna get me a shrimp. I have my trusty angle here, the smaller one, the 13 quart. This thing has been through some stuff and my shrimp are nice and lively. I kept them overnight. There is a couple dead because that's just an inevitable fact about shrimp when you keep them overnight. This one is nice and lively. And I'm gonna hook them right here where I normally do. And we're good to go. Let's toss this shrimp right here. Now it's gonna be swept down current, which is where most of these fish are gonna be sitting waiting for bait to come. Just get swept off this rig and it's a good ambush point and slack tide. Well, we'll see what happens here with the shrimp on the bottom. Oh, there's a bite. It's probably a pinfish, if I was to guess. Bet it was. Oh, there's the sun trying to peek through. Man, that is beautiful. Can't stop saying that. All right, I think my first shrimp. Oh, I have, I had something. It didn't feel very big, <laughs> but they're just eating the shrimp alive. But all right, well, that was the first shrimp. Let me get another live one and drop it down, and we're going to continue fishing. What's so cool is how these shrimp are the most natural things out here because they literally come from out here. <laughs> all right, I got another live shrimp on. I'm going to toss it down, and I'm just scoping out these rigs. If you come to one and you fish it, there ain't nothing happening. You can pick up the trolling motor or pick up your anchor and move to another one. There's plenty of structure out here in the bay. Oh, that was a good fish. All right, got something. Be a flounder, I hope it is. It's fighting like one. It's definitely fly fighting like one. Uh, maybe. Now it kind of feels like a catfish. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, just a big old hard head catfish not the target species whatsoever so i'm going to turn it back there you go swallowed my hook so i'm going to tie on another hook okay got a nice shrimp here all right what do i have what do i have it doesn't feel like anything good another hard head okay let's move rigs Get position on this one and do some fishing here. It's a pretty big one here. Whew. Okay, I got on another live shrimp. We're at a different spot. I'm gonna cast over and just fish the same Carolina rig here on the bottom. We're in a little bit deeper water, closer to the channel. All right, we got a rig supply vessel coming. I wanna make sure I move out of this guy's way. Big old boot. <laughs> they come and supply these rigs with equipment, food, just general supplies. Oh, I got a fish. Ooh, oh, dang. It was pulling so hard it came off. Dang, it didn't get hooked. All right, they just dropped off some personnel. 
All right, there goes the boat. Them things are quick. <laughs> That's cool though. Uh, and here comes a big old wake. Uh, got something. What do I have? Dang. This thing's pulling hard. Uh, what is it? And it is a spade fish. Ooh, there's a big old shark after it. All right. Just called a spade fish. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> Check that out. These are neat fish. He actually doesn't really have hardly any color to them. When they're in clear water, they normally have a nice distinguished black and white stripes. But these are spade fish. They do have pretty good table fare. They just have a tough skin that you gotta cut through. They get a little bit bigger than this too. I've seen some real big ones offshore and around the state pier as well. But they love to congregate around rigs and reefs. So I'm gonna toss you back. And there he goes, right back down to the bottom. That was pretty cool. All right, I think I got me a pinfish finally. Oh, big shark, here. Oh, dude, that shark was chasing that, this fish. Another thing I'll have to uh, find a fish ID on. I've caught one before, I just can't remember the name, but there was a about a two and a half foot shark chasing this thing up, but check that thing out, pretty cool. I wanna say it's some sort of wrasse. I'm not for sure on the exact name. I'll put it down below if I find out. Alright, catching nothing but spade fish over here, so I'm going to move again and head a little bit closer to the bank. Big old cargo ship loaded down with some containers. That is awesome. Alright, it's time to switch to some soft plastics. So the way I like to rig them is on a quarter ounce jig head, go through the nose, come out the back, make sure it's straight on your hook for the most part, and that's it, really simple. Dip it in the juice. I just keep these baits in the juice in these Plano liquid bait lockers. So I'm gonna toss this around, bounce the bottom, and hopefully we can find some flounder. Real simple to work, cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, reel in your slack, give it a hop, let it sink to the bottom, reel in your slack, give it a hop, all the way back. Real simple baits to work. I'm just gonna fan cast around till I get a bite. Got, got it. I got it. Come on, be a flounder. Be a flounder. I hope you are. I hope you are. And it is. And it is. Come on. Come on. Uh, you always want to net these things head first as much as you can because they can tail flop out of the walk out of the net quick. Uh, come on. I don't think he's gonna keep. They have to be 14 inches. I doubt he's gonna keep. What a nice fish. Heck yeah, on the gulp. He freaking choked it. I'm gonna measure him just to see. 13 inch fish, you gotta go back, buddy. There you go, back to the bottom. Maybe we can get us a doormat today. You'll have to excuse the heavy equipment. They're working on the pier. It's always nice to see progress. All right, let's find us a keeper flounder here. Oh, got bumped. Still on. Ah, got it, got it. Come on, come on. Bee keeper, bee keeper. It's another flounder. It ain't no keeper though. <laughs> Dang, it's probably another 12 inch, 13 inch flounder. I'm not even gonna bother measuring it because it's too small. But check that out, what a beautiful fish. Target species for the day. All right, there you go. He's floundered out. <laughs> I, didn't, I used to like to release these fish a lot more graceful than that, but he jumped completely out of my hands. It wasn't a keeper, so. He gone. Under number two, but neither one of them were legal fish. I want to find a doormat. That's what we call a big flounder. Would be really nice. Oh, and the porpoise are out hanging around. Cool. Oh, there's a good one. Ah, got it. Got it. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Come here. That's a good fish. Come on. Ah, come on. Come on get in the boat oh it might keep it might keep it's a decent one 
<laughs> oh man, it looks a lot bigger. I gotta measure it, find out. That's a good flounder, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna keep. It is right on that mark, I'm keeping it. Heck yeah. All right, it was right past the 14 inch mark, so I'm gonna keep this fish. It's a thick fish to be 14 and a quarter inch, but he choked that gulp, so I'm glad he was legal, because now I can get my jig back, so. But what a beautiful flounder. So like I said, I'm glad that flounder was a keeper because he took my jig head pretty far down. So I had to tie on another one, but I'll be able to get it back when I clean it. Fish Bites Fight Club Lures. It's a five inch dirty boxer. They're similar to the gulp. So, and it's made by Fish Bites, which makes excellent baits. So I'm gonna try one on this jig head and maybe we can get a bigger fish and uh, see what we can do now that we know some flounder out here. Maybe we can get us a bigger one. This is a brand new pack. So I'm gonna open it up. They have a smell to them that doesn't smell as nasty as gulp, but it has a similar smell. So this is a five inch dirty boxer. It's a pretty long jig, five inches, but these big flounder will not hesitate to eat a big finger mullet. So there's no reason why they wouldn't eat a five inch jig. And I've caught them on big soft plastics before. So I'm just gonna rig this bait here, just like I would the gulp. And there we go. That's a rigged bait with the curly tail, some really good scent. Let's try our luck. Let's keep fishing here. That flounder hit pretty much close to the boat. And that tells me that they're all over the sand flat or the couple bites I missed were flounder. And they'll follow that bait all the way back to the boat. And if you pull it out of the water too fast, then you'll miss that fish. So work your baits all the way till you get to your boat, even straight below you. Same thing on a dock, same thing on anything. There's, oh, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Oh man, Let's see if we can cast that back out again. Okay, all right, fish bites, fight club lures. That was a decent fish. Man, see, I bet it just grabbed the tail. There's a fish, got it, got it on the fish bites fight club lures is it a flounder i think it is i think it's gonna be too small though um yeah it's gonna be too small but check that out on the five inch dirty boxer fish bites but that's awesome all right well i need to get you back in the water so uh, i'm not even gonna bother measuring it it's pretty small there you go buddy <laughs> the fish bites fight club lures are actually working too so Cool. You know, you can make fishing as simple or as complicated as you want, but if you have a variety of baits, you can always be ready for when the conditions change, or you can always try to figure out what the fish want. If you just got there with one color of one thing, you may catch some good fish if it's a really good color. You can't go wrong with white, but sometimes you may get more bites changing the color, changing the weight, changing the way you fish something. So you just gotta be dynamic. There's gotta be a keeper around here somewhere. Oh, there's a good one. Uh, got another one. Oh yeah, that feels like a good one. That feels like a good fish. Come on, come on flounder. Oh yeah, on the Fish Bites Fight Club, can't even get my words straight, that feels like a good fish. And I'm pretty sure it is. I just wanna see it real quick. Come on. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, I'm excited about that. Heck yeah, dude. Come on, come on. That's a doormat. That's a doormat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That is a doormat flounder. That's what I want. Yes. <laughs> yeah, buddy. It's roughly 19 inch fish. So, heck yeah. What a nice flounder. That is a freaking stud. We finally got one. Hey, throw big baits, you get big fish. This was on the five inch dirty boxer. This one is the white knuckle color of the fight club lures so it's just a five inch curly tail but you can't say that fish didn't like that bait it is freaking deep down there check that out but what a solid flounder come up to 19 and a half inches so i am super excited about that finally got it the target species <laughs> in the state of alabama flounder have to be 14 inches minimum and you're allowed five per person and then you can catch them year round except for the month of november the entire month of november they close it for flounder fishing commercial and recreational to allow those fish to move out into the gulf and make more flounder <laughs> but the fight club lures put in some work all right 
It got me the biggest one of the day. So I'm gonna continue throwing it. Whew. All right. That was some adrenaline going. When you get a big flounder like that close to the boat, the last thing you want to do is lose it. And trying to net it by myself, fairly difficult. Oh, there's another one already. Oh, it came off. Dang, they love this bait. I may have to bite the front off just a little bit because the jig head, it's not holding on anymore. Should be good. There's another one. Got one. Got one. Ah. Another flounder. Good lord. This is awesome. He ain't a keeper, I don't think. No. He's pretty small. It's kind of torn up because they slowly dissolve. But if I can find this particular lure, I'll link it down in the description below so he can pick you up one. You see it's putting in some work. Let him go. Alright. Let's get another bait out. The live shrimps over there celebrating in the corner that I'm not using them. <laughs> They're like, yes, don't do it, don't use me, don't use me, I want to live. And look at this, this stuff's outfishing the live bait so far. Because a shrimp will just get pecked to death over there. Alright, got another one rigged up. Seems like every almost every cast. There's a chance it I gotta buy. Oh, there's another one. Got one. Got one. That one feels like a better fish. Oh yeah, that one feels like a better fish. Come on. Come on in. This is literally like every cast is a flounder. Holy crap, man. <laughs> That's another good one. Uh I'm doing this. I don't know if he's gonna keep, but we'll find out. Let's see if you're a keeper. He's on that mark. But I know a lot of people wouldn't do this, but I'm gonna toss him back. That's with the pinched tail and flush with the board. So I'm gonna toss this fish back, let him grow. The other one was at least a quarter inch over. This one's just barely. We're gonna let this joker swim back. Oh, there he goes. Straight back to the bottom again. Literally almost caught a flounder on every cast with the uh, fight club lures by fish bites. There's another one. Ah, literally just another one again. Like, this is almost every cast so far has been a little flounder. And I don't think that one's going to keep. All right, same predicament as the other one. Right at 14, I'm going to toss it back. But check out the pattern on these fish. They are beautiful. Now, these are your southern flounder. I'm going to toss them back. You catch most of those in the bays. And then the gulf flounder are a lot lighter. And you find those pretty much off the beach majority of the time, but I've caught both in both locations. All right, another cast. There's another fish. Oh, came off? Yeah, it just came off. You know, a lot of times these fish will be schooled up like this as they transition out into the Gulf. You know, there can be 50 to 70 fish and in one school. Yeah, see, it grabbed it, but the jig head, he's got to reseat it on there. They, they definitely aren't short striking it though. They are choking it down. There's one. Got it. It's not big, but it's another fish. Hey, he's just coming in. I don't mind if he jumps off. This is probably the smallest one of the day. <laughs> I'm telling you, these fish aren't afraid to eat a five inch bait. Like, look at that. This bait's almost as long as he is. What a cute little flounder. There you go, buddy. Uh, I think this is a new record of how many flounder I've caught at one time, to be honest. Uh, got one. Got one. It doesn't feel that big. But we'll see. Is it a, is it a flipper? Yeah, I'm going to boat flip them. Uh, Alright, right at that 14 mark again. I'm going to throw them back. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> That's cool. I love flounder, they're awesome fish. Alrighty, that was such a fun fishing trip. It started out really slow, but I changed my tactics and managed to get some really nice fish. So that was awesome. I appreciate you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below. It allows the channel to grow and allows you to keep up with some great, fun, and entertaining content such as this. And if you already are, I appreciate you as always. I have an Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Y'all go give those a like and follow as well. But I really appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.